kiddos and welcome back to my channel. So I'm just gonna cut to the chase. I got lip fillers. I already made this announcement about a month ago, I'm pretty sure, on Instagram. Um, I showed you guys the footage. So before we get into it, please subscribe to my channel. It's free and you get a cookie. And follow my Instagram and Twitter and my Snapchat because I do things on there. So there are millions of questions that you guys have asked me and people are wondering so many things about lip fillers and I totally understand and I will let you know what happened in the process and I have all the footage because there's so much footage and I want to show you the place the facility that I went to so shout out to Balkara Health they're based in Baltimore City and that's where I live thank you for my lips they look so beautiful it's a lot of information so let's go okay so why why did i get lip fillers why did i feel the need to change my body even though i preach about body positivity basically i don't think there's anything wrong with enhancing what you already have i've never been against procedures or enhancements or anything like that only because i've like that's your uh, who am i to say anything about what people get done it's stupid to be judgmental of other people who do what they want to do with their bodies but also i don't like it when they lie about it so i knew if i ever were to get anything done I, the first thing that i would do is let you guys know that i'm getting something done because i shouldn't have to lie i feel like nobody should lie and i feel like there's such a huge taboo with people getting stuff done especially women and they don't want to come out and say it because they're gonna get judged either if they get it or if they don't and honestly it's just lips like it's not a big deal i don't look insane almost nobody noticed that i got anything done so i mean at the end of the day it's mainly just for me and i notice a difference and i like what i see so that's what's most important for me i already have thin lips i still have thin lips these aren't big juicy lips but i already know that thinner lips just look good on my face i would never get huge plump juicy lips because they don't that just doesn't suit the harmony of my face and i think that's why it starts to get wonky on some people when you go a little bit overboard so i had to make sure that i was going to the right place and the person who was going to do my lips knew that so i found Belcara health through instagram and i saw that they were local so i was like oh yeah for sure i want to go and check it out so anyway they of course were really helpful and i told them what i wanted and boom I mainly just wanted a top lip. My lip disappears when I smile. It still sort of does. I don't have to overline my lips anymore. I don't I don't feel the need to do a little bit extra so that my lips look plumper. You know what I mean? It just gives me like the perfect little but it was mainly my top lip. I really liked my bottom lip. My bottom lip had really nice volume and I just wanted it to be a little bit more even. I also feel like I shouldn't even need a reason, but I know people are nosy and they kind of want to know, but really it's not that deep. I just really wanted a top lip. So I got Juvederm Ultra and I got one syringe and that equals to $600. So, of course it'll vary. There's Juvederm, Juvederm Ultra, and then Juvederm Ultra Plus structure, which meant that I needed a thicker filler. So Juvederm Ultra will provide more of a structure. Pain levels and pain during and after, just the whole healing process. I'm heavily surprised at how I healed because one I know that I bruise like a peach purple like ugly bruises I get random bruises all the time so I was like fuck my lips are gonna be purple surprisingly they were not it, I had very mild very mild and you're gonna see in my footage later but let's go back to the start so they numb me up they put a lotion like a cream over it like an anesthetic it's actually fairly strong i didn't feel my lips at all tongue was like tingling too my teeth my gums were a little bit numb and also that's because i accidentally got it inside my mouth so be careful but my entire mouth was so numb and obviously that's a good sign so they leave that on for 15 20 minutes in the meantime i was trying to get footage of the place that i was at because it's really freaking nice y'all injection itself didn't hurt at all i could feel something going in there but i couldn't feel pain it was just i guess pressure they gave me a stress ball and i didn't really use it so yeah i just had uh, the needle going in she had it in here and like around my cupid's bow to you know have a nice arch and stuff yeah that part didn't hurt at all and i'm happy because i'm a baby when it comes to needles what actually did hurt of course 
was the rubbing. You're gonna see her injecting, then rubbing, massaging it in, then injecting again and massaging it in. She has to kind of spread it and making sure it's all placed correctly. Now the filler does move around. It doesn't set, I think. She said after like five days or like a week or something. Pretty crucial. You have to make sure you're massaging the fuck out of your lips. You can get bumps, you can get it placed in random places and I'm sorry I'm saying this is like a really really like you know your lips are gonna get fucked up if you don't massage it but you want to make sure you keep massaging so that filler still kind of breaks down and it doesn't clump up anywhere so you don't get any bumps so that your lips are nice and smooth and that's the whole point and it, it's gonna hurt it's gonna be sore it's gonna feel awkward but you have to do it otherwise you're gonna end up looking crazy I'm just kidding Probably not, but it's best that you massage. <laughs> and then after the medication, the cream wore off probably like 35 minutes after and I was super sore. My lips felt like I had a huge reaction on them and I was like, I felt like a duck. Like, I was like, wow, what, like, what the fuck did I do to my lips? Wow. First thing that they tell you is don't fall in love with that volume because it's gonna go down at least freaking 60% of that is gonna be gone and you're gonna actually be left with what your lips are actually gonna look like. I'm happy I didn't fall in love with the fullness because I really like the fullness of my lips right now. Rude. So, like I was saying, I really like the fullness of my lips right now. I feel like they suit my face perfectly. I, so yeah, so you're not gonna know really where your lips are gonna look like up until two and a half weeks, I would say. And it has now been a month or probably over a month since I got my lips done. So, <laughs> here's the finished product. Do a quick shout out to Blocara Health because they have been treating me like a freaking god. If you want to check them out, if you're in the city, I know a lot of you are actually from Maryland. They are pretty much like a mini hospital. When I went in, I thought it was just your typical med spa. But then they told me all the things that they do, which at the top of my head, I can't remember every single thing. But basically, they do rhinoplasties. They do boob jobs. They have a dermatologist. They have estheticians, of course. Anything filler-wise, like Botox, anything skin they have so even if you don't want fillers or Botox or whatever and maybe you want to get your moles checked for skin cancer or any skin tag or just a random cyst or maybe you have back acne or just acne in general they have people who will help you out so I think that's awesome because it's like a one-stop shop for everything like any type of facial that you want they do it so My ring just fell. Let's get to the vlog. I'm on my way to get a tablet. I'm so excited, you guys. I've been thinking about getting lip fillers for probably a year now. I made it very clear that I didn't want anything crazy. I didn't want, you know, duck lips. They shouldn't be going too big, especially on the first time. So they want everything to look natural, just how I want it to look. Honestly, I just really want a top lip. That's really all it comes down to. I thought I would be nervous, but I'm actually not because I know that I'm in really good hands. There it is. Belcara Health. Yes, I'm trying not to get the license plates of those cars. Go ahead, say what my you're gonna do to Kirsten, my face. <laughs> I am, uh, we are going to look at doing some lip injections today with Javiera. Um, so we're, right now we're just sitting down and having a consultation to talk about what her expectations are, what her goals are. First time getting fillers. Yes. Um, so what type of effect were you looking to achieve? I just want a little bit more plumpness on the top lip mainly. I like okay. my bottom lip. I know it's really subtle. Plump. Subtle increase in volume. Yeah. Okay. Put some numbing cream on you now because it's got to sit for a little bit. Yeah. And it's going to feel like you've already been injected. It's going to make you, your lips are going to feel already swollen. Okay. okay. <laughs> Okay. Wow, it feels hella weird now. Yeah. <laughs> I'm out here with the ladies. I haven't met Hi them there. yet. My Hi. name's Allie. I'm Christina. Of the area, well, my lips are getting numb because this is a really big space, y'all. Yeah, so here, look, they have some makeup for you to choose from. So we actually have our own brand of makeup, too. A bunch of different shades, different products. Um, we just launched the line earlier this year, so we're still still kind of growing in that department. But it looks, I mean, it's pretty big for mm -hmm. 
just being launched. Nice. Maybe all skin tones, all different skin yeah. types, textures, everything that we can match you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and mineral makeup for post procedure as well. So after you get microdealing, PRP, anything like that, we have safe for a procedure. Well, this is the waiting area. So I was waiting over here before I was called. Look at how pretty and zen. We love it products that they provide wait do they have oh look here's the skincare that i'm using glasses yeah so we have a, a total optometry and ophthalmology department and mm -hmm. um, designer sunglasses regular glasses i feel like i feel ridiculous right now um so <laughs> i can't feel my lips anymore <laughs> and i don't know if they're like i don't know what i'm doing right now it's like you know when you go to the dentist and you like literally can't that's exactly how I feel right now, but on my lips. <laughs> Some <laughs> really nice gloss. Right. <laughs> it probably lasts a couple hours, okay? Mm -hmm. And then it'll wear off. So now we're gonna take some photos of before treatment. All right. I like so I'm actually gonna bring you against this wall. You're gonna be sitting on this stool. Okay. We got all the photos we need. I'm gonna bring you back to the chair. And and this is where the fun happens. <laughs> <laughs> Separate your lips a little bit like you're exhaling. You're gonna feel a small pinch on three. One, two, and three. Okay, pressure, a little pushing. It's not too bad. Okay, I'm gonna just massage and mold it a little bit. I'm just going to massage again and I'm going to give you ice to kind of help settle mm -hmm. down some of the swelling and then I'll give you a mirror. <laughs> <laughs> Okay guys, so I'm all done. It looks a little crazy right now, obviously because of the swelling and the bruising and the blood and all that. The thing went so well, it did not hurt at all. It like pinched a few times here and there. Nothing crazy, nothing that I couldn't handle. They even gave me a stress ball, I didn't even use it. The lips just feel a little bit stiff right now. I feel like it's kind of hard to talk, but here's a little bit. Um, I need to be icing, so I'm gonna keep icing. <laughs> it's been a few hours. It's been like five hours since I got them done. This is what it looks like right now. This is the... It's definitely like still a big difference than what I'm... But they're not huge. They're not as swollen as they were earlier today. I have the shower running right now. But we have a little bit of bruising going on, which is totally normal. Um, I can start massaging my lips. I know there's gonna be like a little bit of a bump right here um, And this side as well. This is where my pimple was but overall still happy with this Yeah, they're gonna look way different in two weeks. So I'll check back with you so second day um, I Think they're more swollen. I'm not sure but but they're definitely bigger. They still feel tight though like definitely Hi guys, it's day three. This is what my lips are looking like. You can still manipulate them. Like you can manipulate this shape right now. So I've been massaging, making sure that everything's like going all over my lip and just massaging, massaging as much as possible. They don't feel as hard as yesterday. Very mild bruising. I don't know if you can see right here. It's a little bit bumpy right here. I just, it's only the third day I have to keep massaging me. I don't know what it is about vlogging in the car, but it seems like that's the new thing right now. It's been one full week after getting my lips done, almost no bruising. And if I did, it was like, it was like right here. And that's because, I don't know if you can see, but I have a pimple right there and it hurts so bad. Like it hasn't gone away. I don't know what's going to happen to that pimple, but whatever. It's still there. I'm pretty happy with my lips. I really like the volume of them. Like I feel like they look 
very natural and and they don't like overpower my face either i don't want to fuck up the harmony of my face like, and i definitely don't feel like i look off at all they're definitely softer i can still feel the filler of course they're still slightly sore when i touch them the biggest change though is that they're not bumpy i went through like a bumpy stage i definitely had like bumpiness over here and here this is how i massage by the way like this and I kind of bring the filler down a bit, trying to massage it this way. I massage it this way, <laughs> and then my lip. Okay, it's officially been two weeks since I got my lips done. This is what they're looking like right now. Still have a nice pout, and it's not overwhelming me. I think this is a really good size for me. Uh, but yeah, they feel very natural. No one can really tell the difference that I got anything done. I can do that and it doesn't look weird before when i first got them done if i went like this it would i literally couldn't there was no wrinkles to be made and i was like okay a little wrinkle is fine all right so wow that's crazy oh my god here's me my unhappy self i'm just kidding <laughs> Okay, I'm back from my visit. I filmed inside, but I felt bad filming my girl again because she is a little bit uncomfortable in front of the camera. Um, so I just filmed my before and after so you can see how crazy even the tiniest little bit of filler can really change your profile. She said in the next six months, I would have to come in and get probably half a syringe and just fill it up again because that's just the upkeep of it. Yeah, I'm super happy with my lips. They look so natural and like no one can tell that I got anything done. Thank you so much. Bacara Health. If you're in Baltimore, please check them out. They do literally everything, so you will not be disappointed. Everyone is so nice in there. Look, they even got my skin glowing. Like, honey, oh my god, even in the before and after pictures, you can see my skin got so much better, too.